All right, we're back. Another really cool place to do some print, uh, spring cleaning that's probably not thought about by a lot of people, and you can, as you can see, I haven't done it in a couple of years, um, but you should do this every year, is pull your refrigerator out. Not only be able to clean what's behind the refrigerator, which don't be mortified, but the key here is you're cleaning the coils, which this is a really, if you touch the back of your refrigerator, it's a really warm device, putting a lot of power, fans, uh, and other energy that's helping cool your refrigerator and your freezer. So this will tend to get, uh, it'll overheat if you don't clean it often. So what we're looking to do is, I'm gonna pull the back off, I've got my trusty drill. You're gonna pull off the panel uh, right here and when you do that, all I'm gonna do is be setting these pieces aside. You pull this off and then we'll clean this out eventually. Uh, key to remember, this is the plug. Don't leave it plugged in when you touch the coils. You don't want to electrocute yourself. So unplug your fridge. Don't worry, it won't go bad. They give it about a half hour of cooling time before anything would spoil. And if it takes you a half hour, you got uh, you should hire this out. But take the coil or take the screws out. There should be only about probably a handful, anywhere from five to ten total screws. All of them roughly the same size. So this, okay, that boy is ready. So here, now you can see what a, the back of a refrigerator looks like. And as you can see, those coils are really dirty. So this is a great exercise that we're about ready to do. I'm just gonna take um, my vacuum handle and just get in there and just clean that up a little bit. So I'll show you what that looks like. Got my brush device on here, so this brush Let's just get in there and clean those coils up. Okay, that's simple. Just take your smaller device like this. Sometimes they make even smaller ones. And then you can get really back in there and just clean your coils up. That's really all you're trying to do is make sure that it has the ability to clean some of that dirt out and that it's functioning properly, it's breathing properly, and then uh, we'll put the panel back on.